Hello students, today we are going to see graphing functions using transformation, right? So here we are going to draw graph, maybe a curve, line, whatever it might be, without finding the coordinates. Usually any graph or anything is given, we will find the x value, y value, then we will plot it, then we will draw, isn't it? So without doing that, knowing one graph from that graph, we are going to see how another graph is being drawn. Okay. So that is called graphing functions using transformation. Right. Now we'll get into it. Types of transformation. Right. There are three types of transformation. First one is reflection. Reflection means mirror image of the graph. Reflection means mirror image. How you see in front of the mirror you see your own reflection the same way you could see reflection of one graph in another side okay then translation so translation means it is a vertical or horizontal shift of the graph that means you will shift the graph vertically or horizontally okay maybe from right side or left side or top a bottom okay shifting upward or downward so this is called translation and third dilation so dilation means you will uh, stretch the graph or you will compress the graph like zooming out or just shrinking the same way okay so all these things these three things that we are going to see today right now we'll get it into reflection in detail the first reflection so first consider y is equal to f of x is a graph okay now in the place of that means f of x function in front of f of x if you just put a minus that means you will change the function as negative means then what will happen the graph will reflect okay the graph reflection will be along or about the x-axis okay now see uh, there is a graph given here which is y is equal to x square okay so the x square is considered as f of x now you see y is equal to minus x square so now y is equal to minus f of x so what happened the graph is just changed into negative isn't it so when you put minus in the function what will happen it reflects along the x-axis isn't it it is given that it is it reflects along the x x axis so now you can see this is the original graph isn't it x square so the reflection is along the uh, y axis that you could see here isn't it this is the reflection which is in red color so when you change the function of the graph but just by changing that is changing the f of x into minus f of x the reflection will be along uh, x axis now second type of reflection when you change the sign of x that means when you replace x by minus x see replace x by minus x the reflection is along the y-axis reflection is along the y-axis now we'll consider that there is an function y is equal to f of x y is equal to root x so f of x is equal to root x and what is um, f of minus x root of minus x so in the second graph we are going to draw how y is equal to root of minus x is being drawn so what is root of minus x it is nothing but f of minus x so y is equal to f of x is now changed into y is equal to f of minus x so this red color is the y is sorry this uh, blue color is the y is equal to root of x so i told that what is the reflection is along the y-axis isn't it so this is reflecting along the y-axis means this is the reflection so this is y-axis so this part is reflected in the y-axis okay so this is reflection about y-axis now third one y is equal to f of x and inverse function y is equal to f inverse of x so inverse function we will learn later how to see suppose if there is a inverse function y is equal to f inverse of x means the graph okay that reflection is along the line y is equal to x okay that we will see now now see here 
uh, first function is y is equal to e power x. So let's consider e power x as f of x. So f inverse of x is nothing but log x to the base e. Okay, we will learn this in later. So the second graph we have to draw what y is equal to log x to the base e. So which is a inverse graph. Okay, that means y is equal to e per x graph is the inverse graph of log x. So what is given a, a graph is inverse means so that is a reflection along what y is equal to x line. So y is equal to x line. This is the line y is equal to x. So this e per x this is reflected along the line. So the reflection is like this. Okay right. So this is about uh, transformation three types of transformation. So we'll see a small recap of it. So uh, now we'll see a uh, translation then we will see the recap. So translation. Now translation means uh, we, we have seen what is translation it is just shifting the graph. Isn't it? So how to shift the graph there are two ways of shifting now. Now you see in the function x when you add a small value c c must be positive okay so when you add the positive value the graph will be shifted to the left side by c units In the same way when you subtract a small c value the graph will be shifted right side okay we'll see an example right now c first graph is f of x is equal to modulus of x okay so the modulus of x is nothing but this is the blue graph okay this is the blue graph which is y is equal to modulus of x. Now secondly we have uh, modulus of x plus 1. So in the place of x a 1 is added. So when you add a small positive value with the x function graph is shifted what left. So this blue graph is shifted left by 1 unit. So from 0 it is move, it, just, it was just to move to one unit right hand side. So now the graph is repositioned to this new place. Now third we have um, x is equal to minus 1 modulus of x is equal to minus 1. So in the place of uh, I mean when a small positive value is subtracted from the x value the graph is shifted to the left side. So this is the green graph which is shifted to the left of one unit because one is subtracted. So when you add a value, the graph will move to the uh, <coughs> graph will move to the left side. So when you add a negative value, the graph will move to the uh, right hand side. Right. Now we'll see the next translation that when you add a value to the function not in the place of x. Okay. Previously we have added a small value with the x. Now here a small value is added to the function. So when you add a small value which is positive added to the function graph is moving upwards and when you subtract the graph is moving downwards. Okay. We will see that the same way you see first one is modulus of uh, x so which is the blue graph. Then secondly we have modulus of x plus 1 a small value 1 is added. So it will be moving what positive one so if when you add means it will be shifted upwards so it is shifted upwards which is the green graph then you have a modulus of x minus one so what is modulus of x minus one when you subtract a value it will be moving downwards so which is the red graph now we'll see um, dilation so dilation means when you multiply a graph value by a positive constant greater than one the graph will move away from the x-axis such a way when you multiply a constant positive constant less than one maybe a fraction so it will be moving away from the uh, sorry mo moving towards the x-axis right you will see here now the first function is x square okay so x square is the blue graph see this is the blue graph so now i have multiplied it by two what is two two is a positive which is greater than one so the graph will move away from x-axis so so this is the blue graph so since so it's moving away from x-axis so it's moving away from x-axis and it means it is moving towards y-axis so this is a green graph then secondly f of x is equal to x square so here uh, what I have uh, sorry it's not x square it is uh, x square by 2 okay the 2 is missing 
1 by 2 is missing. So x square by 2. So what will happen when it is x square by 2? It's a fraction. That means which is less than 1. So it moved towards x axis. So from the blue graph, it is moving towards the x axis. So we have got the red graph. So these uh, are the basic things you must know so that you will learn the um, transformation. So we'll have a short recap of it. Right? So reflection. First you have to know when a graph y is equal to f of x is given. When you write it as y is equal to minus f of x, the graph will be the reflection about x axis. Now second one is if you just change x by minus x, the reflection is along about y axis. Then if it is a inverse function means the reflection is uh, about the line y is equal to x. Then translation, so when y is equal to f of x graph is there. So when you add a small value with all x values, that is, it, uh, that means the small value constant must be greater than 0, it is positive. So when you add it means it will moving left towards by that c units. And when you subtract, it will be moving rightwards by that units. Then when you add a value with the function means it will be moving upward and when you add a small value when you subtract a small value the graph will be shifted downwards now coming to the dilation so dilation multiplying a positive constant greater than 1 means it is away from x axis and multiplying a positive value less than 1 means it is moving towards the x axis right okay now we'll see exercise 1.4 sum number 1. So for a curve y is equal to x square we have to draw subdivision 1, 2, 3 and 4. So y is equal to x cube graph is already given in the question itself. The figure is given. This is the y is equal to x cube graph. Now without plotting the coordinates we have to draw because we now learnt all the transformations. Isn't it? Right. Now first we see let us consider that x cube is uh, f of x. Now, what is the subdivision 1 says? Subdivision 1 is, it is minus x cube. It means the function, we have just changed the f of x function into minus f of x, isn't it? So, see here, so f of x is now turned into minus f of x. So, minus f of, mean, f of x means what? Reflection about the x axis. So, it is reflecting about the x axis means what will happen? the graph will be repositioned from now this way okay so i'll show that so this is the reflection just rotate the graph along i mean about the x-axis so this is the reflection now then we have y is equal to x cube plus one so what happened with the x cube a small positive value is added so it is nothing but f of x plus one so it means what the graph is shifted upward by one unit so this graph that is from this position it is shifted to this position so that so this is a green graph so it is shifted one unit upward then next you have y is equal to x cube minus one okay so it's very simple since we added it is moving upward here we have subtracted so it is moving downward so the graph will be from here it is repositioned now in this place so see this is the violet graph which is in the negative axis then uh, last we have y is equal to x plus 1 the whole cube now x is a small value is added with x okay so it means f of x plus 1 isn't it f of x plus 1 so it means what the graph is shifted to the leftwards by one unit so the graph that means from here it is shifted to this place by one unit so it is 